Yo, we are back in After Effect, and this is the effect that I made. Before I show you how we made it, I like to thank you guys for 3k subscriber. I really appreciate all you guys. Your support really means a lot and helps me to motivate create more tutorials like this. So without wasting any more time, let's just jump into another comp and show you how to do that effect. So to start off, go over and select your roto brush tool. Then you can start rotoscoping your subject. If you don't know how to rotoscope, I'll leave a tutorial down below it's pretty simple so you can learn quickly then you can see my subject is separated from the background and you can also play with the feather and the shifters if you want and then duplicate your clip and do the rotoscope from the bottom layer so we have our subject separated from our background then we're gonna turn on the grid so go over to here and just click proportional grid and we'll have some grid like this and then you can grab a rectangle marks tool then you can start marking like this i'm gonna make a rectangle over here and then duplicate it and and delete the marks from the bottom layer then i'm gonna make a rectangle on the side too and then duplicate it again and delete the marks from it again and another rectangle on the side here and duplicate it again delete the marks from here too then i'm gonna make a last rectangle over here after you made all of your cutouts duplicate your last layer again and delete the marks from there then if i hide my proportional grid you can see our footage looks normal but if I hide my last layer and start hiding other layer, you can see our footage is divided into rectangles on the corners like this. So let's just enable all my layers. Now we can start adding some effects into individual cutouts. So selecting my first cutout, I'm gonna add an offset into this offset and hit the stopwatch is shift center to and you can start bringing up the value or uh, I'm gonna make it like 10 or 20 thousand something like that i guess this is enough and in a timeline hit you to bring up the keyframe and go over to last and you can just hit reset then select those keyframe hit f9 in the keyboard to easy those selecting the keyframe go into graph editor and make sure you are in speed graph then you can make a graph like this so we have our animation but it is not looking that realistic because we don't have motion blur so let's just fix that then to add the motion blur you can add gaussian blur and go into blur dimension and make it horizontal then if i up the amount you can see our motion blur so bring up the amount more i need the stopwatch in the blurriness i'm gonna go few frame forward and then just make it zero and you can select those keyframe f9 to easy so we have a first animation done so this is pretty much it now you can select all your keyframe hit ctrl c to copy it then if i hide my main layer and all of my cutout in the side i'm gonna paste the effect on this and make the gaussian blur horizontal again and then in the amount just put a minus in it so it is negative then if you see my animation you can see it is sliding on two different directions so for another one i'm gonna copy it again and enable another cutout which is this one in the right so i'm gonna go over to first frame and just hit ctrl c to copy it and you can see my layer it disappeared that's because it is sliding in the horizontal value so in our effect control we want to reset the offset then you can start bringing up the second value so the sliding happened vertically let's bring it up like about here and and in gaussian blur set it to vertical then we have our right side also done i'm gonna copy those keyframe again then i'm gonna enable the left side and paste it in there and when you paste it make sure to make it vertical again and in offset in the second value i'm gonna put minus in here too so it slides in the opposite direction then you can also play with dragging it down or dragging it upward it can get you different look then lastly i'm gonna enable the background layer which is the normal layer and i'm gonna add some rotation into this too so to add the rotation we have to add a effect called motion tile so we don't have any black edges so make the value like 200 by 200 and just hit mirror edges then selecting your clip hit r to bring up the rotation and hit the stopwatch in it to animate and in the first value in the cycles you can add like three cycles so it cycles three times then you can go over few frames and just set it to zero back to normal select those keyframe hit f9 to easy ease go into graph and make the same graph in here too like this then make sure your motion blur is turned on then we have our background effect done 
and I also really want to make our subject slide in so I'm gonna bring up the position by hitting P hit the stop position in it and make it out of frame and go over a few frames uh, like about here and just right click and hit reset and select both of those keyframes hit F9 and make the same graph in here too graph like this then make sure you turn on motion blur again after that you can see your subject sliding into the scene so we are done with this effect and this was my final result so if you like this video please hit the like button and you can also subscribe my channel for more videos like this see ya later bye